everybody, and welcome back to another video. I am a Shanna, and as you notice, the wire is gone. I don't have to deal with that silly red wire no more. But I'm still going to use it during the off time to save on the battery, so that way I can use this for the videos. So, now we don't have to worry about the cord getting disconnected or something since I do tend to fidget a lot. So, today I thought since I was just looking for something kind of something kind of my norm and such, I decided I'd go ahead and do and since also I need the PvP practice because I am literally what you would call a level 1 noob at well, I'm literally the one of the worst noobs you could you could find at PvP and uh, parkour and other stuff. I have a personal parkour training track that I built myself that it should be easy. It's not. So yeah, I've actually not even made it past like half of the first way. Half of the half of I haven't even made it half like a quarter of the way yet. So it's pretty bad. So I've just. I'm working on my skills, and so I figured I'd go ahead and do some Hunger Games. So we are back in the Mindplex lobby. And so, there are actually people on to- there are actually people on right now. So, oh, there's a- there's a server that's waiting- that's just getting people in there pretty quickly. I like the Axeman kit anyways because, I mean, seriously, it's just like, there's so, there's so many, you can find more axes than you can find anything else. If you if you go for the archery kit, to be honest, well, the archer kit, it's probably not one of the best decisions you'll ever make, but... It's not too bad. Assassin's okay. It's not too bad. But I've personally found the Axeman kit to be one of the better, more OP kits due to the fact that, for some reason, in these section, well, in this, uh, in the Mindplex version, which is not the only version of Hunger Games out there. There is... <sighs> there is a pr there are more- there's a higher percentage of finding axes in the... in the... in the chests than you would find, like, swords or other stuff. And as you know, with my ratio of running away from- my ratio of running away from things is so bad that- I have chosen simply to- simply to go straight for- and looks like we are get, about to get into the game. Taking one quick sip, and there's the door. I'm taking immediate advantage of the speed and trying to get far enough away. I might quickly grab whatever's in here. Okay, I've got a weapon already. Good, that's good. Okay, I've got a weapon I can keep on me and I've got a weapon I can use for... Okay, I definitely need to get down there, so let us get over to the water. Let's see, I raided that one, yeah. 
If the water didn't catch me, the spider webs would. This is actually a pretty good place to come down to anyways, because fewer people come out this way. Oh no, there's actually a lot of people out this way. Apparently there's people wanting to eat people's eyeballs. Ooh, my kit my kit's gonna come in handy this time. I'll keep the rotten flesh out for food. I'm gonna toss the wooden ones, keep the stone one. Because the stone one's going to be a lot more damage. Now oh, there's a question mark on the population of this town. Call it population whoever even thinks that there's any loot here. But there is, actually. You just got to know how to find it in this place. By getting up top. Okay, all there is is food up here, but there's other places to get loot. Okay, that was just a half a heart of fall damage. Ooh, that's gonna be a big, that's a big score. Okay, it looks like I did manage. Rotten Flesh, you're taking a back seat. I got and I've got plenty of cooked food already. Hmm. Ooh, I've got a player tracker, but not that that's gonna do me any good, seeing as I'm a bad PvP player. So I don't think there's any loot up there. I'm very and it. That roof over there is almost impossible to get to. My gosh, this guy's got way better gear than I do. If he knows how to get up here, I'm so screwed. Rude at this point. Oh, whoa. Does this guy have reach hacks? Oh, the border's coming in. I think I he's gonna he's gonna let the border flush me out. Which actually would be the correct move to do seeing as And I'm out. Well, at least I didn't last- at least it wasn't too long. But at least I'm not- I'm not too- I'm not too sad. I- d I wasn't that- I wasn't too far out. But it also was- but also I'm not- I'm not gonna kinda- I'm not going to be really act aggravated because it was a good game. That guy had better gear than I did. Guys, with be people with better gear deserve to win. That's kind of the way it. That's kind of the way it works, of sorts. And so, what I've done is I've. Decided to use uh, these places as like a training field. I've got a personal server to, to try uh, to use to train for parkour. I've got a place to use to here. Currently, I'm using this lobby here to well this server to uh, work on my PvP skills and also work on my survival co and collection skills as well. 
And please excuse any mess in the background. I'm in the process of packing. Because in a matter of about two weeks, I will be moving to, I will be returning home. And then I will be return, and then I will be going to a, a different residence after, after Christmas to go spend a, not only the holiday, but not only like the New Year's holiday, but eventually I'm going to live in it. A house with some of my cousins and such to kind of just get to where there's better get to where there's some nice part-time work I can get to supplement whatever to just kind of uh, be able to pay some be able to pay some expenses and such I'm gonna have to start I'm gonna start paying off my loans for the current school that I've been going to and I'm gonna take a break from the schooling for a bit not too long, hopefully, but I do plan on going back for Ooh. tech courses and uh, business and business stuff because I want to know how to run a little. I want to do know a little bit of how to run a business so that way, if I ever decide to sell like T-shirts and such or other sort of gear for you guys, then it'll be easy, f and then it, it will be easy for me to know what to do, and also easy for you guys to uh, be able to trust that I know what the heck I'm talking about, because I will have gone to school for it. I actually pay a lot more attention than most people do to, uh, the, due to their due to lectures and other such stuff I tend to be a lot I tend to be very cautious oh wait there's an there's a chest over here what am I doing to be honest that's better there's a crafting table over there. Oh, there's a chest. There's a hidden chest right there. Oh, I have a. My gosh, I'm getting the good weapons today. Even though I don't get any bonuses using a sword, a sword is is. Ah. Oh well. <laughs> oh. My forward key got stuck again. Ugh, I swear, it does that all the time. And what I mean by I swear, I mean like... It usually does this. This... I just say... I just do... I just tend to say that a lot. And I'm tr And I'm gonna... Cut, I'm definitely cutting down on the usage of it. So, if for all of you parents worried that I might be corrupting your children's minds with the, the with any sort of language I might be using, I I am very P I am actually my language is very PG friendly due to the fact that I have uh, lived in a place for so long. I lived in a place from the time I was very little, well, from the time I was about, like, eight, that was very PG-sensitive, you couldn't say anything curse word-related within the, within the residence because it was just considered it wrong. If you did it, then, well, you were seen as bad kid. And I've gotten a couple of looks for it before, so I've, uh, I've learned to trim it down a lot, so 
I t so I'm very, I'm very sensitive to what I say. If it, and also if you notice if I kind of stutter a little bit sometimes, I do have an issue sometimes with uh, speaking due to the fact that I was, uh, I wasn't quite given the best, I kind of don't have the best knowledge of, well, sometimes my language is just a little bit simplified due to the fact of, uh, of how I was raised, of how I was raised before, and then I lived with my great, I li I've been living with my grandparents, nothing against, I have nothing against them, so don't think that, but, okay, great, I have arrows, I don't have anything to shoot it with. And I also have plenty of food, too. I don't have any weapons or any armor. This game is start. This game is not favoring me today. But that's okay. Okay, I have at least some- I have at least some pants. My death words would be, at least I got some pants. Okay, so. I've got at least a couple of axes. I can at least throw one or two before dying. Okay, so. Okay, so that's gotta go, and I can kick, well, I can kick out that, and I can put the stake back in the... And we are putting that at the head of my inventory as my main melee weapon as well. I find that sometimes you can survive a pretty decent time amount of time by skirting outside of the skirting outside of where most players go to the spots where players are least likely to go due to the fact that often the worst loot might be found in those locations. Now I don't have any of the chests memorized. Just a heads up, I have no idea what, where, like, all the chests are located. And it takes a while to get used to stuff like that. Of course, and of course this is a kind of a little touch of a shout out. But if it wasn't for kind of my, in, one of my inspirations, Bayesian Canadian, I really wouldn't. I I wouldn't be doing this at all. Between him, Jerome A. Seth, and a, a few other very popular YouTubers, even though people keep even though people keep kind of joking that their channels are dead. But I don't find their I don't find their channels to be dead. I find their channels to be quite, quite well working and wonderful. I heard Poofles made a joke yesterday, well, I believe it was yesterday, about the other pack members, about the other pack members, YouTube channels being dead. I was about ready to... Uh, I was about ready to throw some uh, pretty sassy comments in their comment section. Yes, I do watch other YouTubers. No, I do not do it for... Oh, that's not a good idea. 
Well, at least the butter chest plate's better than nothing. Now I just need something for my feet, and at least I'll have a full set of armor for a change. I'm kind of coming in to check to see if there's... Well, I have butter pants, but I don't need them. Okay, so... My gosh, I have enough axes now, people. Now if, you, now if we can mine up those blocks, I could pretty much get a full set of iron. Iron's probably, iron's actually probably one of my best bets, and I'm going to stick with the stone tool as my main weapon, due to the fact that stone has, let's see, between that, the sword's barely any better. When it comes to like attack speed, I think is it on how much better it is as a weapon right now. So, yeah, of course, you can't break anything that was already originally part of the map. But, uh -huh. yeah, I better get out of this building though before the border comes and finds me. Oh my gosh, someone started the death match. Seriously? That means the other players are going to be searching for everybody to destroy before. I want to try to get to this chest. Yes, I've got boots. At least I can survive a little bit. I, oh my gosh, I am the noob. Go and pick these up. They're not even concerned about me yet. That's good. I don't need them concerned on me. Yeah, I'm not- I wasn't gonna make that, but at least I made it to the top three. And there's my pretty corpse. Yeah, at least I wasn't at least I wasn't too far outmatched, but I did but I do look pretty in this in the skin. And you guys got to see a really good shot of my headphones. Let's see. Okay, there's like six players in this lobby, but okay, we're already at about 23 minutes, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go return to the hub, and I'm just going to go ahead and call that a video, guys, because I need to wrap up. I need to wrap up anyways, because I do have to get this out to you guys. I'm sorry if it will be a little bit late, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stuff. Please go check out my other channel if you want to see more of this type of content or other gaming content and please put suggestions in it to the other channel of what other type of gaming content because it is a multi-game in content channel and also the also this channel i'm planning on doing it on my thursdays when i do do a thursday a random a random game thursday so if you want to see a specific game if it's like a flash version that I can use on Chrome, or if it's something that I can easily get for free without extra add-ons and stuff, please let me know. I will try my hardest to get to it, and if I can, I will do it. Please put in a few requests like at the bottom of these videos and at the bottoms of the Thursday videos. Those will really help me out because they'll let me know that, hey, I want to see this. Or I want to see that. And I will continue. And if I start a game, 
on a Thursday, I will continue it. So, like, tomorrow I'm pro- well, like, way- like, after this video- not too long after this video gets done, I will probably have a, a, another video out of me doing some more on the Freezeria for the weekend videos, and I'll just do stuff like that instead of t doing only Minecraft or only Roblox or stuff like that. Whew. Keep it fun, keep it interesting, and I'm sorry if I'm yawning a lot, I'm just really worn out. I've been really pushing it the last few days, and I've also been sick earlier this week, so I am really, really drained, and I'm, doing, and I'm not really at my hundred, most 100%, but I put as much as I can forward while still being able to take care of myself. And even though I kind of get sick some, I do try to do it as much as possible. I do try to do my videos as much as possible, but with the moving and everything else, it is still it is kind of taxing. And it's the fact that it is also the end of the is also towards the end of the semester of school, so finals are approaching. So I will be take there will be twenty four hour quiet hours soon. So I am trying to get to, done with this stuff so I can just kind of rest. And this will definitely be coming out late. But, and I'm sorry about that, but you can expect a double upload Sunday to make up for it. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and there will also, if you guys want to go see it, there will be another upload of a video to my main channel as well. So, go check it out. And it also, guys, on from my other channel, I will start linking in the description a viewer discord. If you guys want to see a viewer Discord for the spot for if we get sponsors in the future, as well as for just the regular everyday viewer, please let me know. I can set one up so we can have it just random people. However, <sighs> if you want access to bots, if well, if you want access to like game specific bots and such. I am doing some game- I am doing- my other channel is heavily built for Minecraft gamers and for other gamers as well, and there is also a request for- there also is also a request space over there for people to request games to be added to the chat- to the channels and also add- added to like content that is shown. and. Also, I'll be having my friends join me over there as admins. So, we might just make it to where if you guys want to join it and speak with us, you could just go on over there. We'll see. We might. I might bring that up in the next meeting. And so... Ooh. I hope you guys all enjoy, and I will hopefully see you all next... And I am Ashana, and I will hopefully see you all next time.